Hello. Okay, cool. I'm getting the hang of doing this. <clears throat> 55 days left in the season. We have... Uh, we've completed one of the four spirits, and I think we're getting closer to finishing a second one. I'll have to check in the menu here in a second. But I believe we're getting closer to finishing this second one. So yeah, we're not doing too bad. Oh, hi, tomato! Oh my goodness! <laughs> You were here before I was here. Hello. Oh, hang on. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a warm welcome. Okay, hang on. Um, I need to grab this dealie and check what the missions are for the day. Oh, make a new acquaintance. Hug a friend. Aww. These are cute ones. I'm guessing bear hug doesn't actually count. No, it doesn't. Still cute though. Cute. Is that your friend, Tomato? <laughs> Cute. I'm trying to think if I can remember what that's from. Oh my gosh, these are so easy today. Nexo, hello! Admire the sapling, hug a friend, make a new acquaintance. Hi! Your cape is very cute. No, oh, it's got like an interesting design on the front. Is that just part of that cape normally? I guess it is. It looks cool. I never actually wore that cape before, so yeah. I never knew till today. Let's do all this. Sending gifts to people. I just have to find one more stranger and then admire the sapling. That's like the fastest that I could possibly get done with mission stuff. Oh, I saw Maka yesterday. Maka helped me, so I'm gonna give you a heart. I saw Maka yesterday and one of the missions was to high-five a friend. So I high-fived her, and then I was like, ooh, I want to thank her by sending her a heart. So I go to open my friend constellation, and she's no longer in my friend constellation. Like, for some reason, and I never noticed this before, but Maka randomly appears and disappears from my friend list. And I have no idea why, and I have no idea if it does that with other friends, but I noticed it with Maka. I think maybe friends who aren't in my quote-unquote favorites list. So, like, tomatoes there every day. And so are a lot of other people. <laughs> Alright, well, oh, actually, if I make an acquaintance with this person, then that'll be one less thing. That'll be another mission. Boom! <laughs> so easy. It's so easy today. I love it. Oh, admire the sapling in the vault of knowledge. Whoops. 
Ah, I went to the wrong place. Why did I go to the valley? Why did I think the missions were in the valley today? <laughs> My brain is not with it today. My bad. My bad. Let's try that again. We're going to the vault. For real this time. I mean, and the sapling in here is also like really close to the beginning of the level, so super easy. I got so confused. Don't mind me. My brain machine is not always at 100%. Sometimes I space out like a concerning amount. <laughs> There was one day, um, this was maybe like half a year ago, and I was baking something in the oven, like a casserole or something, and I pulled it, I pulled it out with the um, oven mitts and everything, and I put it down, and I completely spaced out and I went to move the dish again and I tried to move it with my bare hands <laughs> and put willingly voluntarily put my bare hands on this burning hot um, casserole dish but it was only for a split second so we were fine I was fine <laughs> And I normally don't space out that badly. I don't know what was going on that day. My goodness, you need to be careful. Yeah, I'm not normally that bad. <laughs> Tomato scolding me. Oh. I see. There you go. You probably need that for a mission. No problem. Yep, we're almost done with missions already. And now we're done. How long have we been here? Less than 10 minutes. <laughs> I love that expression. Also, I like the new look. The new mask. Oh, Tomato's looking for something over here. Okie doke. Yeah, if we can get this door open, then we can get a big candle. And for some reason, normally, um, on the first level, it's much harder to find people. But you go to the second level, and there's another door you have to open with four people. And if you get it open, then you get another big candle. And I think that one is like very well known that there's a candle there. So it's pretty easy. But for some reason on the first floor, it's normally harder for me to find someone. Today we're good though. Today even the random people who don't know me and or know anything about me are totally cool with helping me get my missions done as quickly as possible. No, I don't want to relive that memory. No, thank you. Oh. But I don't know what Tomato's doing either, and I don't know what this camera is doing. <laughs> there we go. Alright, second floor. Whoa. <laughs> 
Just saw that person being launched into space. Cool. So how are you doing today, tomato? Tomato responds with fireworks. Whoa, that looked really cool for a second there. Oh, look! And we all spawned just in time to help this person open this door. If this person comes to help us, which I think they will. Yay! I'm doing good but tired. T good but tired but good? I'm doing good. Tired but good. Oh. <laughs> I'm good too. Just kind of spacey. And I don't know why. I mean, I got enough sleep. But I feel like even if you do get enough sleep, you can still be tired. So my trick for doing these is to partially light them and then run to the next one so that the cutscene won't catch me. And they'll eventually light on their own. That's my speedrunning tactic advice for the day. You can do the same with these two. If you... Oh. Well, go ahead and prove me wrong then. No, you can like partially light them and then run to the next one. And then it'll eventually light by itself. There it goes. screaming for the elevator to go faster, but it never does. Oh, tomato! I haven't asked you this in a while, but how many candles do you have? <laughs> We're having a very meaningful conversation. <laughs> 204, okay. You have almost caught up with me now. I have 219. 219. We're both at like the beginning of 200. I've been trying to send hearts to people because I need to get um I need to get to 33 before the Halloween event ends so I can get that chair. I don't know when that event ends, actually. I should probably look into that. But I think we probably have, like... Normally that kind of stuff lasts like a couple weeks. So I'm assuming we will have a couple weeks still.
Well, it's been maybe a week now, so I don't know. How many winged lights are here? That's a great question. I don't know. There's one up here. There's one... You mean in this one area, or in the vault as a whole? Because in this one area we have... This one here. The one down there. Um, and those might be the only two in this area. And then there's one in the next level, and then there's one on the level after that. Is it just two? I think it's just two. In this area. Oh, did you do Eden over the weekend? I think you said you were gonna do Eden, right? Today, actually, oh. So did you just do it, or were you planning on doing it after this? I was going to do it later. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, there are a lot in the vault, I think. But they're scattered pretty well. So there's two on the floor before this one, and then on this one there's the one on the skeleton, and then on this floor there's the one... Oops. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I ran out of juice. Let me go back up. There we go. <laughs> I have more juice. More flying juice. I love the instant recharge potions. They're great. All right. Oops. <laughs> Beautiful. No oh, wait, I'm going to give you a slow clap. Where's the slow clap? <laughs> the dreaded, aggressive slow clap. Well, and then I'm gonna do big candles, so... As per the usual. But yay, we got... Seasonal stuff done, anyways. And if I'm remembering right, we shouldn't have another seasonal mission until next week. Um, yeah, next week. Okay, cool. Ooh, you got a new seasonal thing. I saw that tomato. 
Yeah, I still have a bit to go. Um, because there are only four spirits, they cost a lot more this time around. Unfortunately. But, oh well. What'd you get? Ooh, an accessory. No, you just put on... Is that the Little Prince accessory? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I see you. I see you in your orange... Your affinity for orange things. No. <laughs> or maybe I'm just blind. Okay, tomatoes. Ooh, that's what it looks like. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, I see. It's the little cow. That's what you got. So what does this do? Is there anything special that this item does, aside from look spooky? Or is it just spooky? I guess it's just spooky. Yeah, I like the little fluff. That's what I'm wearing right now. No, it doesn't seem like you can do anything. I really liked the cherry blossom event table. That one is a good one. I would love for them to make more. Yeah, it just looks spooky. I mean, it's still charming. But when you make an item, like the cherry blossom table, it's like, it's a hard act to follow. Because now the expectation has gone up for every item. At least in my opinion. Now I'm like, ooh, what does this table do? Nothing. I can only sit at it. Aw. But I'm still gonna do my best to get those uh, 33 hearts. Even if it's not that exciting to me. Because there's this part of me that wants to be a completionist. I used to want to do that for like Animal Crossing as well. Like try to get every variation of every piece of furniture, but like it's so overwhelming and impossible to do that for New Horizons. Like way impossible. Because they just keep coming out with new stuff and then they have certain things that are much harder to get. The stuff that you have to spend like nook miles to get. Oh, I was like, oh, shiny boy. I see. I was like, what is Tomato doing? Getting a shiny boy, of course. How many shiny boys do you have before you go to Eden and lose them all? <laughs> Whoops. I lost Tomato. Tomato is out of bounds. Tomato is under the map and is now... That was impressive. I thought you were just gonna warp to me, but instead you crawled out from <laughs> under the map. 150 before Eden. Oh man! So you just got 67 right now. Oh. Sixty-seven? Really? 
Oh, yeah, I can see it. I'm sure that if I did eat in every week still, I would probably have enough to be like level 12. Well, depending. I don't know. I don't know if um, there's a cap on the number of winged lights you can start out with. But if there isn't, I would probably be level 12 if I did it every week since the time I started playing, but no. <laughs> That's not a thing I'm willing to do anymore. Last year it was fine because we were in the middle of a pandemic and um, I had kind of all the time in the world because I wasn't able to go anywhere or do anything. So I was like, why not just play this game? But now I have stuff to do. Life stuff. This is where the big candles are supposed to be in this level somewhere. I think we got two of them. But if I go over to the seasonal area, I know where there are like the three that are automatically there, but then we won't get the other big ones. Well, we can always go back there later. As long as I get my 10. So a lot of my other streamer friends, I think they also do a stream on Monday. A lot more of them have like an actual streaming schedule. Oh, I think Tomato's getting another. Yeah, shiny boy. Yeah, there should be quite a few of those in this part. Or in this area. No! Stop! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Cutscene got me. Eh, that's okay. I don't need to be up there anyways. The big candle's no longer up there, so there's not really a point. But I will go all the way over here to get the big candle by the little bell thingies. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the way that Twitch kind of has your schedule because it doesn't let you customize per day. So like if one week I'm going to be on one schedule and then the next week I'm going to be on a different schedule, um, Twitch doesn't really allow you to put that in easily. 
you would have to put in your schedule and that would be what the schedule is set for every week until the end of time so then you know before the next week starts you would have to change your schedule so like I don't have an official schedule because of that because I don't like to schedule and say I'm going to do something and then be unable to do it but I think um, I think a good way to combat that is another thing that a lot of streamers do which is um, to make their own discord server and then they can put their schedule on there and then if anything changes they can let people know on there as well but our group doesn't have a server yet we'll get there but we're not quite ready to do that yet but the nice thing about um, doing this with a group of people is we can kind of split up the work so we have like I think nine people in our group that we're eventually wanting to all stream and occasionally like participate in each other's streams and stuff like that and so and we've already like divvied up like okay one person's going to make the discord and then this person's going to deal with the twitter account once we make one of those and then this person's going to deal with the youtube account or whatever so we we kind of have that all divvied up but also you know life stuff is still a factor oh did you need that shiny boy over there tomato we'll go back see if you need a shiny boy Rude. At least they're easy to defeat now. For a while, when this area was still glitchy, um, I would scream and that would incentivize them to attack me. So like screaming them wouldn't knock them over, if anything it would make them angry and it would make them attack you. <laughs> But now we're good. Ooh, there should be one over here. In case you need this one. And there should be one over here in case you need this one. So in a way it's nice because we have everything divvied up the way that we do. But again, life stuff gets in the way and um, I feel like we haven't really been able to officially start um, and most people are having trouble like finding time to do their own streams and stuff so but we're we're slowly moving along I think we'll get there eventually okay I'm gonna go home and then I'm gonna warp back, or not warp back, but go to go back to the prairie from the home menu because it should be faster and I'm all about doing everything quickly so we gotta find, I think we have to find two candles Yeah. But yeah, once I or once our group makes a Discord, I'll let everyone know.
because I'm not the person who's going to be in charge of doing that. Nice. Yeah, was there one over there? Yeah, there was. Okay. So we did get two. Cool, cool. Oh. I lost tomato. Again. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. You know what? I'm just gonna stop talking about it. <laughs> oh, there is a shiny boy over there. My bad. Oh, there's a shiny boy in here, too. Let's get you this shiny boy. I can't remember... Um, how many I needed to get to ten? Oh, that's weird. Load, please. <laughs> Screaming at it is not working. Open already. We have a glitchy door, folks. This is the quality you get when you don't pay for a game. Oh, there it goes. Cool. Yay! Oh, we probably could have gone to the cave and gotten the ones in there, too. Well, we could always go back. Whoops. Oh, no. No. Do not do that to me. I refuse to be part of a cutscene. One of the kind of irritating things too is when there's a cutscene activated in an area and like you personally are not actually a part of the cutscene. Um, it gives you an option at the bottom to skip it even though you're not a part of the cutscene. Well, that, that instance was different right there, but... Um, no. Like, if I wasn't in the area, it still would have given me the option to skip that cutscene. And while it does that, it also takes away your ability to fly. And I think, like, I don't think you can open up your menu, and there's, like, a lot of things that you suddenly can't do anymore. So it always, like, it kind of takes me by surprise. I'll be like, why can't I fly? And then I look at the bottom and I see the skip a cutscene button. And then I'm like, oh. That's why. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we have one more candle. One more big candle. But 
that should be at the end of the level. And we can get the shiny boy at the end of, or in this little secret area. Nice, and we don't even have to wait. I love that for us. Oh, and I got ten candles. Nice. I was not super paying attention to that. But we're good. Cool. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let me find an empty one. There we go. Uh... Is your buddy AFK? Yes, there you go. There we go. No, don't, don't, okay. I was gonna say, don't do that right now when we're trying to activate the switch. But it worked out. Oh, look how cute you are. Oh, I like that cape. It's pretty, it's a pretty blue. I think that's probably one of the normal ones that you can get. that light and then we'll get this shiny boy and then we'll get more light and then we'll get the big candle and I'm gonna flip and look really cool without meaning to do that <laughs> we're gonna skip that cutscene I'm totally an expert at this game. Totally. I look really competent doing this part of the game. And you can definitely not say the same for when I'm in like the Golden Wasteland or Eden. As long as there is no real danger, I can look pretty competent. Uh, I think the big candle might be inside of here. Let's see. Um, okay. That was an interesting direction to face me in. Oh! Oh yeah, it is there. I was like, it's not there. But it has to be. I know where all the potential candle locations are. I think. Oh, I know why it's at 227. It's because I gave somebody a heart. Oh, maybe I should give more people hearts. <laughs> Yay, we did it! We were successful. <laughs> And we have fireworks to celebrate the occasion. And we have these little poppers too. Huzzah! <laughs> it's so bright. Blindingly bright. Alright. We can go home. Oh, good luck when you do Eden today, tomato. 
I never look forward to it. I probably should do it soonish though, because I have less than 10 eating candles left. Maybe, um, maybe I'll skip this round that you do eat in and then do it next time. Oh, Nexo. Thank you, Nexo. You know what? Oh. I was gonna say, I'm gonna send you a heart. But my game will not let me. <laughs> I, think cause, I think it's because I just friended Nexo once and then never did anything to, like, increase the friendship with them. I think it was somebody on stream who asked to be friends with me and I was like, sure! I'm like trying to remember people who do that a little bit better. You know what? I will send Jack Knight a heart. Ha ha! Oh, and Tomato's right here. I will send Tomato a heart. Um... Yeah. Ooh, maybe Afsane. <laughs> Thank you, Tomato. There we go. I get immediately rewarded when I send something to Tomato. <laughs> Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I think I'll pass on this round when you do Eden, and then I think maybe next time you do Eden, I'll I'll join you. Cuz it's been a bit. I think the last time I did Eden was also with you. <laughs> I like that the weather is different over here now though. It used to be just like sunny blue skies every day and now sometimes we get like this cloudy weather it's nice lights is on I don't think I'm gonna see her though Ooh, actually, maybe I should send her a gift, too. Let me do that. Or send her a heart, I mean. Because I think Lights was the one who wanted hearts. There you go. You get a heart. You get a heart, and you get a heart. Everybody gets a heart. Now we might actually have a similar number of uh, candles. I have 216 now. I had 227. No, I had 228. Now I have 216. Aww. I'm going to pet your bird. <laughs> I'm not going to pet you. I'm going to pet the bird on your head. Actually, yeah. Pet the bunny on my head. <laughs> That's cute. I love that we're almost the same size, because then it just makes it so much more perfect whenever you do, like, cute little expressions. Um, there was another friend that I used to play Sky with very regularly with. And at that time, I think I had just gotten the chibi mask. And so me and him had the chibi mask on like all the time. And it was the same deal where we were like around the same height. So we could unlock all the friendship stuff and it still looked normal and totally not weird. <laughs> I'm watching a show in class and I don't know what to think about it. What show? Is it like a live action show? A cartoon? Is it like an educational something or other? I remember watching Bill Nye in school. It's so weird to see Bill Nye now too. Um, 
because I grew up seeing him in like cutesy, kitty, sciencey stuff. And then I became an adult, and then I saw him talk like he would talk to adult audiences. And suddenly he was like swearing up and down. I don't know, it's live action. Okay. You don't know what it's called. I'm not a huge fan of live action stuff. I still like cartoons. <laughs> Even as an adult. It's like Transformers without the Transformer. <laughs> oh dear. I have no earthly idea what that could be, Tomato. That could be anything. Is it like robots or something? Transformers without the Transformer? But like a robot friend? It's like a repeat of a day. Groundhog Day? There's a movie called Groundhog Day that's about um, a guy who is stuck in like a time loop and keeps reliving the same day. Yes. Oh. I think that concept is really interesting. No. <laughs> yes, no. I'm sure the stream is lagging for you. Not that. Oh, okay. Just like Groundhog Day, but not actually Groundhog Day. It's about a guy in the army. And they repeat the same day over and over again for this guy. Okay. Well, you said it was a series, so... And Groundhog Day is a movie. But I guess... I don't know, maybe somebody took that trope and ran with it because they liked it. Dying and waking up again. Not gonna lie, as interesting as a concept as it is, that would absolutely suck having to die like every day. Also kind of makes me think of, um, what is it, Final Destination? It's a movie. Oh, okay. Cause, well, Final Destination is not the same, but it's kind of like a group of people cheat death and death is like, no, I'm still gonna get you, but now just in a completely weird and different way. And so then all those people who were supposed to die in this accident and survive end up dying anyways. I'm trying to type fast here. <laughs> I know, it's a challenge. Sorry, tomato. Would you like help with your mission? <laughs> yes, I know that's a mission for today. I love doing the kissy emoji. <laughs> it's very cute. <laughs> Where 
are now friends with this tiny bird child, I think. You are very cute. I love the accessories for the new season, like the little tiny pilot glasses or goggles and the floofy hair. So cute. And the outfits look really cool too. Well, if you ever get the name of that movie, let me know what it is. It sounds interesting. I always wonder, like, for stuff like that, like, what is the cause of it? How can you justify, if you're writing a story like that, how can you justify a character reliving the same day, every day? Like, do they have a cop-out at the end where it's like, it was all just a dream? Or do they have, like, an actual explanation for it? Like, if it's a guy in the military, is it like some kind of military experiment that goes wrong and then he gets trapped in a time loop because of some technology? Or is it a supernatural thing? Oh, hi, Loof! Loof redeemed hydrate. Oh. I don't have any water in my water bottle. Hang on one second. I will be right back. I completely forgot to refill this after the other day. Um, I had like 10 people all redeeming the hydrate. And so I was like, okay, fine, I'll just drink the entire bottle. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> I drink water. Okay. Hang on. Uh, okay. <laughs> I got it. I drank a tiny bit, but I'll drink a little bit more, just so you can hear it. Drinking water, ASMR. Squeaky water bottle, ASMR. <laughs> Tomatoes doing depression, ASMR. <laughs> depression emoji ASMR no I love the I love all the little sound effects that come with um, a lot of these emojis they're very cute this one used to be one of my favorites oh wait actually I think I could turn up the volume on this too yeah I had that turned down a lot <laughs> I like I like that you ran in the other direction to sneeze. So you wouldn't sneeze in my face even though we're not actually right there. <laughs> Beautiful. No, my friend was terrible when um, when we were, well, both of us 
played Animal Crossing a lot last year during the pandemic. And as soon as she learned the sneezing emoji, she would come to my island and like sneeze in my face. Just to be a jerk. Ah, <laughs> oh, Light sent me a heart. Thank you, Lights. Yay! <laughs> That's a cute sound effect too. The grumpy one. Yay, I need... wait. I need 11 more. Polite tomato. Tomato is very polite. Oh, we did. <laughs> I really like the level one of that emoji. It's good. It's the like pinching the bridge of your nose because you're exasperated expression. So good. Because I'm Canadian. <laughs> you're so polite because you're Canadian. I'm not gonna repeat that. How can I refute that? I love how fast the crying one devolves. It starts off as just like sobbing. And then it's like falling to the ground sobbing, and then the last one is like straight up tantrum on the ground. Yep, we did all of our stuff. We got missions done, we got candles done. Um, I'm not going to show you the seasonal area because we've already done that like several times now. And I really only need to go back there to get the special spooky chair. Uh, but I need 33 hearts to do that and I'm very much not there yet. So, um, I might stop playing Sky, but I might also pick up another game, because I feel like I could stream for a bit more. So I think I'll continue with um, Yoshi's Island, because that one, I'm like, I want to finish it. I'm like halfway done with it, and I just want to finish it. <laughs> So, how about we do that? I'll we'll stop this for now. And I will change the title and everything. Um, yeah. We're on World 4. And it's gotten a lot harder. <laughs> Level 1 was... or World 1 was totally fine and easy. And then World 2 got harder and then World 3 continued to get harder. So we're gonna be suffering <laughs> a little bit. Just a little bit. I think I'm like on the first half 
of this one. Yes. Okay. So we're going to attempt to get to 4-8 and finish World 4. This is a charm brought. Roll it as far as you can and see what happens. Okay. I very much appreciate that it's killing enemies for me. Oh no. I need this. There we go. Oh no. We lost it. But, the good news is, is I can ground pound here. Okay, come on. Alright. because I can't... I can't ground pound that. So I think I need to actually let it fall down here. Cool. Wow. This is pretty impressive. And yet I stopped rolling it to get that, and now it's gone forever. Ah. Uh, sad day. Oh, no, it's here. Good. Posture check. And stretch and hydrate. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to hide behind this rock while I do all those things. <laughs> uh stretching feels good. Thank you. More water. No, I don't know if any of you guys have played this game before, but this was something that was like, I played it as a kid, part of my childhood, Oop. and then I got older, and I was in college, and I got really into emulators when I first started college, and And so I got this game on an emulator, and I replayed it, and I enjoyed it a lot, still. Oh, that is what I was supposed to do. Cool. I love this giant rock. Thank you, giant rock, for being there for me. Probably... Um... Yes. Um... Okay. 
Yeah, let's just see if I can get all of- if I can roll this all the way through here. But yeah, it's been a few years even since um, I played this in college. So... I don't, like, I still don't really remember most of this game. taking a long time to respawn, which is very polite of it. I appreciate that. No. No. No! Okay. Stop. Ah. Stop. Ugh. I do not like that flower thing, as you can clearly see. Oh, this is where it would have dropped me off if I was... okay. If I wasn't able to get the rock to go with me still, all this way. Really? <laughs> that was pretty sad. You're always there for me, Chain Chomp Rock. Thank you. Oh no, hang on. Go back. Back this way. We need to push you up these stairs. How many thingies do I have? 19, 13, 4 out of 5. Okay. No, but as cute as this game is, and as much as I like it, I forgot how difficult it was in places. <laughs> Can I roll it up there? No. Ah, oh, dang. Sad day. Alright, well. Yeah, there must have been something that I could do that I missed. Huh. I wonder how. I wonder how I could have gotten it up there. Because that's what I was supposed to do. Let's get it up there. Who knows. I'm not gonna dwell on it. I'm not trying to 100% this game. We, we got a passing grade by American standards. Would have been a D or a C in college, but we passed. That's the important thing. Lakeshore Paradise. Okay. Not a huge fan of the water levels. Um, one of my fears as a kid was, like, doing the water levels and, like, Mario and stuff. And getting eaten by, like, the giant fish. Ugh. Hated that. No. I would like to go this way, please. <gasps> I can dive! A little bit. Not really. Ah, smart. I am smart. I am very intelligent. Okay. Cool, what is over here? Oh, neat. Oh, crap. Oh, did you guys hear about the, um, the new game? The... The new game by the guy who made Stardew Valley. 
That's like a chocolatier something game. No. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna let you hurt me. I think these fish, I just eat them and I don't get anything out of it. I wonder if that actually is going to do anything for me in the long run. Yes. Yes. Yes! Oh, that was very satisfying, and then that was very not satisfying. <laughs> what I meant to do. No, I haven't heard about this new game. I'm excited for it because I liked Stardew. Um, and it should be very interesting to see what he does, like, in terms of making new characters and stuff. So I'm excited about it. Um, and also, so this game, I'll just give you a little bit of info about Stardew itself because I like it. Um, so this Stardew was created by one person, the entirety of the game. So all of the sprites, all of the soundtrack, all of the literally everything was made by one guy. Um, and... It's kind of ironic, too, because Sean is playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Nice. Um, because the reason why he made that game in the first place was because he had graduated college and he was just looking for a job and nobody was hiring him. And he was like, okay, well, if nobody's gonna hire me, I guess, like, while I'm looking for work, I'll go ahead and try to make my own game. Just so I can, you know, keep my skills up uh, and be, like, well practiced and everything. And so, you know, oh, what is this going to do? I'm very interested. Very invested in the story now. Um, oh, Nito. So he goes on to make this game again, all by himself, and he also makes it like uh, he also makes it very um, affordable. It's like fifteen bucks for the whole game. So, I just think it's super cool. Okay, popping balloons. Um, yes, I remember how to do this. What? Stop jumping on me! <laughs> oh dear, we're stuck in a loop. We're stuck on a jumping on me loop. Oh! Wow, well, that's fine. Whatever. I don't actually lose a life out of that, so it's fine. All that just to lose a game with a bandit. We tried. Oh, another cave level. Oh no, you're combining my two least favorite types of levels. The water levels and the cave levels. Thank you. Thank you, game. I'm not a fan. Why are you sometimes spitting out those things? I'm, I don't like that. It's very not cool of you. And that's why it's not cool of you. Oh well. 
don't know, you're just always spitting that out. Interesting. But if I have full eggs... No. Yes? No. Huh. Cool. You just had to guess on that. I guess it just goes to show that you can be totally talented and qualified to do jobs and also at the same time not get hired. It does not matter. Just no bueno. I think I have to hit those with three eggs. That was worth it for the flower, I would say. Cool. Okay, this one is giving me eggs. Good. Eggs, please. Chocolatier game is actually going to be finished, by the way, because I think initially Stardew was supposed to come out in, I think, like 2013, and this, honestly, this applies for a lot of games too, but a lot of games, they predict that they're going to come out with a game, like, way before they actually come out with the game, because the process of developing a game takes way longer than most people think that it would. So initially that game was supposed to come out in like 2013 and then it ended up actually coming out in like 2015, so like two years later. So them announcing that it's in development does not really mean much. Like I don't think that means that it's going to come out soon. Ooh, these guys. Stealth guys. They're cute. Um, okay. Well, let's see what's up here. Like, there's this game that I've been waiting for since... Oh. That was kind of pointless, but whatever. There's this game that... They said it was gonna come out in 2019. Now it's 2021 and it still isn't out. Called Way to the Way to the Woods. You can bet that as soon as that game actually does come out, I'm going to play it on here. Yay, that's the one I wanted. Oh, that was incredibly rude. I'm gonna eat both of you for that. Yay! How much do we have here? We have... we need five more red coins. We have all the flowers, and we definitely do not have all the stars because I keep getting hit. Don't you dare. It didn't matter. You didn't need to dare. Up. Oh! I did not think that I had that option. Okay, let's wait a bit before going too far here. Okay. Cool. 
Yay, we did it! Thank God. We didn't die! I said I was gonna do so badly, and yet... I haven't actually lost a life yet. But that was also... That was the first level, wasn't it? It took me that long to do one level. No! I did two. Okay. It took me that long to do two. Okay, I feel much better. I feel much better. <laughs> Ride like the wind. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> That's fun. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nope. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get that one then. Oh. We're good. Nothing happened. I certainly didn't almost die or anything. No, why would you say that? So I guess my best option is to actually shoot this guy. Fine. Oh. Um, do I have a... an egg one? No, I do not. Well, what does this do? Let's redeem it anyways. Nothing. Wonderful. Do anything with these? Okay. Ugh, being without eggs is not um, an optimal situation. Oh, I can steal the babies. <laughs> Oh, that's awful. I steal and throw babies now. to 100% this game. I just want to beat it at all. Probably something, probably leading to another game with the, uh, bandit. Alright, well, let's see. Oh, no. Oh, well. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Cool. Alright, what's the bandit want today? Gather yeah, coins. Grab more coins than your interview before the time reaches zero. So, the real way to win this is to be a jerk and just keep jumping on him. Because he can jump on you and stun you, but you can do the same to him. T 
teaching kids real good life lessons of make sure to be an asshole. <laughs> that thing. Whatever that is. Yay. Oh, I had to actually collect it. My bad. Alright. Um. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was close. I almost killed myself by accident. So close to hitting that one. There we go. There we go. Cool. Alright. Um. Oh! There we go. Nice. Is there anything up here? No. Getting those. Oh, that's how you're supposed to do it. Cool. Eh, good enough. I got all the flower guys, so we're good. How many lives do I even have in this game? <laughs> I've not been keeping track. I did much better that time. Alright, we're gonna finish World 4! That boss looks a lot more intimidating than this boss. But it also looks like a turtle, like a regular turtle, that saw something really disturbing. I look at that and I'm just like, sir, are you okay? <laughs> Hook Bill, the Koopa's Castle. Alright, I have three eggs to my name. Oh. You know what? Never mind. We're good. Ooh, I don't want that lava to touch me. Don't do that. Oh, wait, I have to actually. Yeah. I forgot. I like that they're ghosts now. I have no idea why they're ghosts now, but they are. Behind door number one. Coins. And this. And stairs. Okay. Oh, good. And more stairs, I'm guessing? Yes. Cool. More stairs, I'm guessing. 
Oh no! Oh, no, we're good. Alright. I see you, game. Oh my gosh, so many stairs. Luckily, the animation for going up the stairs is really cute. Oh good, I needed those. Um, is there anything- what? What is down here? Nothing that I can get to. Okay. yellow eggs now. And stars. Oh, that was it? That's all that was here? Darn. Okay. Um, but if I go back the other way I can get more eggs. But do I want to do that? I don't know. Oh crap, I fell down here again. Can I reach up here? I don't think I can. Okay. So... Will I get another yellow egg if I go this way? Question. No, I will not. I will just waste my time. That's good to know. Okay, there's gotta be some... rhyme or reason to this. I mean, I can just go this way too. Okay, okay, I need a key. And I don't think I can get up there yet. Okay, uh... No, wait. I might get this. I think I need to activate that little question mark. So... Let's see. Let's see if I can... Well, let's see if I even can reach it from here. <laughs> oh. Well, thanks. Um, can I reach? Does that mean I can reach this one from here? No. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. Alright. I guess I'll get more eggs the other area. Is there anything? No. Let's see. We'll trial and error this. Hey, guys. Okay. Ah, dang. So close. Nothing else I can get more eggs. Okay. 
And there might be something up here that I just forgot existed. Let's see. Oh, there's something up there. It, I think it's just more stairs, though. Yeah. Alright. Is there anything over here, though? Oh, there's something up. Maybe that's where the boss room is. Um, there has to be a way to get over there. Well, I have eggs now. So... It wants me to go down. If I go up, there's not really much to do up there either. It says to go this way. I'm wondering if... If I am able to get... If I'm able to hit that question mark, will it build a staircase up? I think there's a way to... No. <laughs> I was like, I think there's a way to lock it. And I discovered it. But it also doesn't exactly help me. Uh... That's frustrating. Um, but there's also something up here. Oh, no, I was already over there. Um, dang. Um, yeah, I'm kind of lost. This is tricky. I mean, unless it's just me needing more eggs for forever until I can hit that switch? I don't know. Okay, come here, you. I eat you. You come here. You turn around. Turn around now, please. Thank you. I'll take that. Um... Oh. That was not done on purpose. Okay, well, now I have eggs. Oh! There's a crack in that one. Alright, let's see what's up here. somewhere. <laughs> Thanks. That's it? <laughs> Gee. I feel so special. That's instant death, if I hit that. <sighs> and I don't want instant death. Can I... Okay, so it runs out of time. Okay, I need a key, is what I really need. So I'm guessing... That the key is probably... Ugh. No, it's like there's something blocking it. Ugh. Pain. So much pain. <laughs> uh... Okay, 
so it bounces off of that. Okay. Okay, so I actually do have to shoot it from about here. I don't think I... I have a POW block. Would a POW block do anything? Would a spit melon do anything? No, because I can only spit in a straight line. So spit melon won't do anything. This one is a fire, so I would just spit fire. That wouldn't do anything. Oh, that's how many lives I have. I have 116. Dang, okay. Well, I'm not hurting for lives, if anything. Um, what if I did do the POW block? What if I did the POW block here? What would that do? Nothing. Great. What if I did this? <laughs> Nothing! Lovely. Alright. Um, yeah, the only thing I can think of is to keep... Keep shooting eggs over there. Because there's nothing... I can't get this way. So there's gotta be a different way to get to that. Um, maybe if I can get to that, I'm guessing inside of that crate is a key. Which means that I can't do many thing until I get up there, which is probably that switch that I have to hit. Which will make stairs appear. This is a lot of supposing and assuming, but... I'm pretty sure that's what I have to do. Oh, dang. I don't like that. <laughs> Didn't like that. Nope, I think I just have to continue um, shooting eggs at that until I can shoot it at the right angle. That has to be it. All of these other switches just activate stairs. If I go this way, then I can... Yeah, then I can go back down and just kind of generate more eggs for myself. What a pain this dungeon is. This is so uncool. I don't appreciate this dungeon. This entire time I've been doing nothing but praising this game. Oh good, that doesn't even do anything anymore. I've been praising this game for how much I like love how cute it is. Oh. Yeah, that's not cool. <sighs> I thought I could maybe jump between those chains, but that's not the cards for me. So that means I do need to shoot this. <laughs> and waste eggs. Are you serious? I have to do this one by one. Uh, all I'm trying to do is preserve six eggs. Without being forced to go up and down the stairs, or being forced to stay up. Okay, so I can go back down from here. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Making me want to 
to take back every nice thing that I said about this game. Really pushing me, game. Okay. So I think I have enough eggs here. Let's see if I can shoot this. I mean, it's saying go this way, then go this way. It's like, this has to be... This has to be where I'm supposed to go. But it's not letting me... I was hoping that POW block would work. I might have to look this one up. Let's see. <laughs> Hydrate. Thank you, tomato. No, I'm gonna look this up. So this is World 4-8. 4-8, or level 4-8. Yoshi's Island 4-8. If I'm wrong here, I'm gonna be really embarrassed. Oh. <laughs> wow. Nope. It took two seconds of looking at a video for me to realize what I did wrong. Okay, that's, that's a little embarrassing. <laughs> no, we got this. We got this for real. For reals. Okay. Well, my only option now is to go through here. Normally I'm pretty good at figuring out stuff on my own. But we're gonna chalk it up to me just being spacey today. Um, and that's why. I did not think to do this sooner. <laughs> there. <laughs> that was not, not that hard to deduce. Okay. Well. It's fine. I never said I was good at this game. <laughs> Yay! Okay, cool. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I still would like more eggs, please. So we're going to deshell these guys. Oh. Well, or just murder. <laughs> That's fine too. It took me, like. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh no, we're good. <laughs> I was able to find a secret area, but I wasn't able to figure out that puzzle. That's pretty sad. Oh no, not you. <laughs> I'm gonna eat your cloud, you jerk. 
The key to is actually... I'm gonna say this and then I'm gonna jinx it. In general... The Lakitus haven't been super annoying to me. Because I'm really good at catching their clouds and eating the eating the clouds at least. Ooh, I got all of the nice. So yeah, I've been pretty good about that. Whoa. This is um what's that game? It's that game. <laughs> nice. bad you have to be at this in order to get that not be able to get that okay we're finally on the boss mm, we actually have a trick to get up there I like it oh thank you for the stars that's very polite of you but that also concerns me but that also means that I get to spawn here if I die Oh, this is epic. This is so dramatic. Ooh, do I have to run? Oh my gosh, I would love for a boss where I just have to run. Little Koopa, come through for me now. Go forth and rock Yoshi's world. Oh, jeez. Okay. What are you gonna do to this guy? You're gonna make him really big and concerning. <laughs> yeah, now he looks more like a normal turtle. <laughs> Oh my god! Can I just run? <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> oh, I see. Sort of. Okay, well I need you to face my way. It's very polite, actually. It's it's allowing me. Okay. Cool. It's allowing me to. You gonna stand up? Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm supposed to do. Ooh. You didn't like that, did you? No, it was, it was letting me fly, like, very high. And it was being very forgiving with, like, the hitbox. because it really costs, like, most of your eggs just to do that. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> that was scary. gonna be the last one. Boom. Ah, I love the three the three hits rule. It's a good one. Bye little Koopa. 
We're gonna go burn down your house now. Not only did we kill you, but we're also going to burn down your house and collect the insurance. Look at that! World 4! Complete! We're good. I am good at video games, actually. Look at this little guy go. Boom! We've done this a lot of times. We're becoming a real problem. It's cute because it keeps adding on to the music every time. You beat a uh, new world. I feel like I vaguely remember these seagulls. I hope they're not too much of a pain, because they're what's next. So we have now completed world four, world three. World three was pretty difficult for me. World four was not as bad. It just took me time to do the levels, I feel. So, World 4 made a liar out of me, because <laughs> I just got done saying how I was, um, you know, having so much more trouble with the difficulty. But look at this! We got... we have enough room for three more tabs, I think. Five... or maybe two more. Is it seven worlds? Okay, well you know what else we should do? Not that. We should create a suspend point. Let's do it. Because I do not want to lose that progress. I was anticipating playing this, so I was trying to play... It's funny, I was trying to play like other levels and stuff ahead of time um, in save slot 2. But now I'm just f way far ahead of everything. I think this one was me just playing the game for like the first time on the new system. And then this one was me attempting to... <laughs> I wanted to play the levels ahead of time so I would know what was coming and I wouldn't embarrass myself and now I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. What was my score for World 4 though? We're just gonna check. I don't think it was very high. 67, 66, 89, 86, 72, 75, 94! We got 1A. 1A, 2Bs, 2Ds, and 2Fs. Cool. Alright. No, I'm gonna be done for real now. And hey, we got a two hour long stream out of it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the um, Sky Children, but also the Yoshi's Island. I'm still intending on finishing it. We're actually more than halfway there, which is really exciting. Um, though it's not super spooky for Spooky Week, I think for later on this week, obviously not today because I'm pretty much done streaming now, but um, for later on in this week, I think I would like to play some Deltarune, but going down the No Mercy route, I think that would be fun. So yes, that's what we're going to do later on. Um, I think we also have more D&D stuff incoming, potentially. Um, you know, you never know what might happen. We might have another situation where we're not able to get that off the ground just yet, but I'm anticipating it. I think we'll be able to get it done. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining. And I hope you have a nice rest of your day, or night, or evening, or morning. I think I'll, I think I'll shorten it to that.
instead of saying whatever time it is wherever you are because it's a mouthful. <laughs> you know what I mean. 